Jinko Solar is the top solar module manufacturer with 70 gigawatts deployed globally and 12 gigawatts deployed here in the US. This year, it is launching a new panel, the Eagle TR G4 series, targeted specifically at the US residential and commercial DG space. Here to walk us through the new tech and to make the case for high power modules in the residential solar world is Max Green, sales application engineer for Jinko Solar. Hey, Max, thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. Yeah, Chris, it's, it's great to be here. And thanks for having me and, and Jinko here to, for this discussion. What opportunity do you see in the U.S. distributed generation segment right now? Is it just the overall growth that's coming up? Or did you specifically identify a hole in the market for this product offering? So as we all know, the, the U.S. DG market is growing exponentially, especially within the past year and a half uh, because of COVID. You know, everybody has been working from home. So with that, uh, people are, are using a lot more electricity. So because people are using a lot more electricity, the cost of electricity is also rising. So that's where, where Jinko, you know, felt the need that we needed to manufacture and produce a higher powered module which can allow people to take and homeowners and installers more control of their electricity and their utility bill need. So that's why Jinko felt that the Eagle TRG4 had really filled this gap to increase you know, the need for installers, the installers addressable market while decreasing the amount of time that is spent at each installation. Walk me through what's actually different about the Eagle, You know what you've built here. So let's specifically look at the components and construction of the panel. Jinko has a new technology, so it is proprietary to Jinko, and it is called our Tylen Ribbon technology. So uh, the actual module nomenclature is Eagle TRG4. TR just stands for Tylen Ribbon. So what's cool about our technology is Jinko has basically removed the cell gaps um, that is you know, normal to all of your typical half cell modules that have a gap in between, which is basically useless space in the module. So with our proprietary tiling ribbon technology, we have started to overlap our cells to where we are eliminating that cell gap. So we're using as much space in that module footprint as possible. Um, we have also increased, slightly increased the cell size of the cell itself to where we can increase the number of bus bars per cell. Why this is important, Chris, is because we're able to push more current out of each cell itself, therefore push more current out of the module and also push more power out of the module in the entire system um, itself as well. So along with these technological improvements, um, we have also changed our bus bar technology from a standard rectangular bus bar to more of a cylindrical bus bar. So while this is important, the cylindrical bus bar is able to absorb more light in, in low light conditions. So, you know, early on in the morning or, you know, in the evening hours, the module is able to produce more power or absorb more energy to produce more power in these low light scenarios. So that's interesting. Now that I have a handle on that, can you, I guess, walk me through why those choices were made now that you're approaching the residential and commercial space, you know, with this module, you know, what, what, what value does all of that that you just walked us through have on the spec sheet and, and why should I care as an installer? So Jinko's goal has always been to achieve more power in a same or similar module footprint. You know, as a module manufacturer, we, we understand that for installers and homeowners, there's always a space constraint for, you know, how many modules you can fit on a roof, how many modules you can fit um, on a you know, ground mounted installation with, with increased current, with better low light uh, production, you know, installers and homeowners are able to take more control of their utility bills with a more powerful module. So since all of this equates to more power per module and per system, the installer is able to install less modules utilize less BOS components in each of the installation. And the biggest key factor is that it saves increased costs for the installer and the homeowner. That's interesting. So one big storyline happening right now is, you know, module manufacturers are all beefing up the power output of their panels. Um, and we, we ran a cover story last year that made a, a really great argument on why solar installers should be thinking about high efficiency modules more. Um, but we did have some readers push back saying that, you know, they still didn't really 
think the numbers worked out in their customers' favor in terms of price at the end of the day. So I was hoping you could walk me through a scenario or two or uh, demonstrate the value of a higher power module in the residential segment. And is it just in roof constraint scenarios? I would say the complete opposite. So Jinko sees the need to um, manufacture a more efficient and more power hungry module, if you will, for not only the residential space, but for really just the solar industry as a whole, because with a more powerful module, uh, the installer, and, and I'm, I'm just going to reiterate what I stated earlier, but the installer is able to purchase less modules, less downstream components such as you know, home runs, uh, fuses, MLPEs, which are module level power electronics such as you know, micro inverters, optimizers. So since the installer and the homeowner um, gets to purchase less material for the system and they have higher power modules, they're able to save cost not only on the labor um, involved with the installation process, but also with the components that are needed for the install. So that is key for homeowners and installers. So that's where Jinko felt the need to, to create you know, a higher powered module for the residential space to save not only installers money and time, but homeowners as well. That all makes sense to me. Um, and I, I guess to wrap up here, is there anything else installers should be considering? I mean, because that's, you made a pretty good case, but you know, how else might a high power module focus change the residential solar market um, in terms of full system costs or maybe just an installer's business model? Actually, being an installer myself, uh, many years back in the day, you know, a key benefit is how many components go into each install. How long is it going to take to to complete each installation? So, with a higher powered module, the installer, you know, is able to purchase less material, um, even have less labor and le you know less labor force uh, there for each installation as well as you know, the homeowner spending less money. So with the installer spending less money on the equipment, the homeowner is spending less money to purchase the, the equipment or the components from the installer. And then the installer just spending less time at each install. The installer is able to install more systems per day or per week. So they're able to you know, make more money by you know, um, increasing their number of installations per week and spending less time on their labor force for each of those installations. And, you know, just if there's installers out there that haven't used a Jinko solar module before, where where can they go to purchase to, or, you know, find more info, some more marketing material to promote it to their own customers? I would recommend to start uh, with our website so they can visit www.jinkosolar.us. That also has a list of all of the Jinko US uh, reps so they can find all of our contact information there, as well as all of our current product offerings. Well, hey, thanks for taking the time, Max. Yeah, Chris, thanks for having me.